Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. We are starting another vlog today. Um, it's already almost two o'clock. I didn't start it earlier. I actually didn't think I was gonna vlog today. I had a meeting this morning and then I was working and I decided to finish editing the last of the content for my last vlog. And once I uploaded that, I just like felt so good because it was my first official vlog like since I came back and I don't know it kind of like gave me some renewed energy and I was like I think I'm gonna start the vlog now why not who cares if it's not started first thing in the morning especially when I do these types of vlogs where it's just like several days in my life I feel like it doesn't really matter as much whether you start in the morning versus just like a day start to end you know so because this is going to continue for a few days this week i figured i would just start it now i'm just sitting here going through some of this content from my client that they just uploaded this week and i'm going to start doing some editing for them and just doing some content planning for my clients across the board my last vlog i wanted to but for whatever reason i never really got into it um, but i wanted to talk about what i'm doing now because i feel like um I'm still doing the same thing I was doing before a year ago when I first started uh, Gold Coast Media House. It was more of like social media management, like I kind of started it out that way, but it's since really transitioned into digital marketing altogether. Um, so I'm glad I didn't call it like Gold Coast Social or something like that because it really has um, transitioned in the last year. And now I'm doing a lot more like broad digital marketing tasks. So social media management is a big portion of it, but I'm also doing email marketing, running ad campaigns, web design, um, like graphic design. So like designing flyers, posters, rebranding, things like that. Um, and I love doing all of this. Like honestly, I mean, obviously, cause it gives me the freedom and flexibility that I have to work from home. Um, but I also being someone that's now had a few small businesses and I'm just an advocate for small businesses, I love helping them and doing this allows me to help small businesses. So that's what I'm doing now for work, but obviously in my vlogs, I'll try to get more into what I do and everything like that because why not show you guys that? I feel like it would be interesting. to you guys that I feel like I haven't done a good job in the past of expressing is that like multitasking and being productive isn't actually as easy for me as it may seem on camera. So obviously when I'm vlogging, what I choose to vlog is what is put in the vlog, right? So you guys are only seeing what I choose to put into the video. And before, because my channel really got started on um, college content, it was all based around, you know, productivity and studying and going to classes. And I kind of like branded myself on that. And I feel like people followed me for that reason. So I felt like I had to keep up to that standard. At least I had to portray that standard. But the truth is <laughs> I actually struggle a lot with focusing, with prioritizing tasks, um, just task management in general, switching between tasks, making it to things on time. I have really bad time blindness. Um, and I feel like my ADHD symptoms have gotten worse over the last few years, for sure. Like I have noticed just like my executive dysfunction really coming out in a lot of ways. And my goal now is to show you guys these problems, talk about them, and show you the things that I do to help work through them. Because I do feel like, one, that's just being more transparent and honest, and I really don't have anything to hide anymore. Thank you, therapy. <laughs> Healed me, and I love myself no matter what. But it's a struggle sometimes, and I don't wanna sit here and pretend like it's really easy for me to have super productive days, because it's definitely not. I have to constantly use a variety of different methods to remind myself of things so I don't forget, to keep myself on task. And even then, even with all of these little parameters that I put in place, I still have times where hours will go by and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't get what I needed to get done today um, because I got distracted by something or I don't know, I was just like in one of those moods. Um, it can be really difficult. Sometimes I look back at like my old videos and 
my ADHD was definitely not as bad back then, at least not the executive dysfunction side of things because I truly was very productive, like especially in like the peak of SunStyled. I would be like packing orders all day and then I would go do content shoots and then I would come back and do emails and print packing slips and order new inventory. Like I constantly had so much to do and I somehow got it all done and I look back at that and sometimes I'm hard on myself and I'm like, why can't you be that productive anymore? But I've just accepted that that's not me anymore. I can't necessarily operate that efficiently um, like I used to be able to. I don't know why. I mean, I definitely think sometimes I'm a little bit hard on myself, like I said, but it is definitely not as easy as it used to be for me. So one of the things I like to do is use this timer that I got from Amazon. And when I write out my tasks of what I need to do just to help make sure that I don't get too like completely fixated on what I'm doing because some of these things can just go on forever because they're like never ending tasks. I usually do like 30 minutes, but um, you can like turn this. And what's really cool about it is it's visual. So once I start it, okay, let me actually make this 30. It will slowly um, come down. So like each minute is one of these little specks and it will slowly come down. So it's kind of a visual as well, which is really, really helpful for me because with a regular timer, like I have no concept of like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but this gives me a visual as it breaks down. I'm playing some video games right now. I've been playing Predecessor lately. I was on a Fortnite binge like for the last week, but I'm back to playing Predecessor. Leftover spaghetti that I made last night for dinner. I'm just having a chill night in. Cheers. Oh, have you ever had the pure LaCroix? I like how I'm asking you that as if you guys can answer me. I guess technically you can in the comments. It's really good. Like, even though it's just the taste of water, it's better than that. I can't even describe it. Taking my makeup off and getting ready for bed. I actually need to show you guys my skincare routine as of lately. This is a face wash that I've been using. I really like it. It's a gel cleanser by Peach and Lily. Um, all of this stuff has been super gentle on my skin and I have pretty sensitive skin. I used to like get really bad breakouts whenever I would try new products, um, but all of these products that I've been using from Peach and Lily have been really gentle. So I love them. After washing my face at night, I use some of this toner on a cotton round, and then I use the Clinique Moisture Surge, and in the morning, I use the serum and then the Peach and Lily Moisturizer. Not that anyone asks, but this is my unsolicited skincare routine. I'm watching The Perfect Wife on Hulu and this true crime series is so good. I'm on the third episode right now. I really should go to sleep because it's already 11 but I just can't. Like I have to finish this. It is so good. Good morning guys. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup right now. I just decided I'd start vlogging now and just chit chat with you guys because I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to like start the next day of this vlog. So I just thought I would talk to you guys while I'm doing my makeup. But oh my gosh, that documentary that I was watching, The Perfect Wife, it was insane, you guys. Like, the name of it is The Perfect Wife, so obviously we know she's not perfect. There's something going on here. But like, everything that happened makes you question everything the whole time. It is, it's just crazy. I can't believe like, it's real. So desperately want to like tell you guys, but I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it. So just go watch it. If you like true crime, like it's a really, really good one. It's on Hulu. I've been using this gel for my eyebrows. It's by Pixie. And it really is pretty nice. I think I'm gonna bake under my eyes because the content shoot that I'm going to today is for the sports performance place. And um, there's no AC in there and it is freaking hot. So I'm gonna be sweating off my makeup. So I really want it to stay. So we're gonna bake. This really makes the biggest difference. Even though it's like from the past, I feel like nobody does this anymore, but I'm doing it, I'm doing it today. Cause I need my makeup to last. I don't even know what I'm doing eyeshadow wise. I think I'm just gonna do like something super basic. Gotta curl my eyelashes. I was watching Callie the other day and I did my makeup in front of her because I didn't have time to do it before I left. And if you guys remember, Callie's a little girl that I babysit and she's three now. Um, that she's like, you know, infatuated with me doing my makeup and she like, it's like, what's this? And you know, she like thought it was scissors. 
and it was the funniest thing and she's like can I try and I was like oh god no I was like you can pretend and she's like pretending with it oh my gosh she's so cute I'm taking a look at my day. I'm actually babysitting tomorrow, so today's my last day to finish this out before that meeting where we're going over everything on Friday. So, or not this, sorry, the welcome guide. Um, so I gotta finish that up, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be working on the rest of the day after I get back from this content shoot. Here's today's little positive message for you guys. Doing a quick little outfit of the day before I go, and this is nothing super cute. I really just wanna show you guys the shorts, honestly, because they are a dupe for the Lululemon Hotty Hot shorts. So I have these in black from Lululemon and I swear to you, they are like the exact same thing. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I might even like these better. So I'm definitely gonna get them in more colors and I'll leave a link below. They have like the little zipper and everything. They're super comfortable, good for running and they're lined underneath, which I love. So that's what I'm wearing today with this little three quarter zip thing that actually is from Lululemon from a really long time ago. And my Vans. I was just like, I need to show you guys this. I feel like over the last year of me not vlogging, I have had so many little discoveries that I've been like, oh my God, I wanna like post about this, I wanna tell them about this in a vlog. Like just when I find something really good, usually an Amazon find, but honestly just like little random life hacks and stuff, just the kind of stuff I would share on my vlogs and I feel like I have so much to make up for. Like I'll see something and I'm like, oh, now that I'm vlogging again, I need to tell them about that or I need to show them that. <laughs> so lots to come. Just ordered my first pumpkin spice of the season, even though it's been out for a few days now. I have not come to Starbucks. I've been mainly just working at home a lot this week, and I've been trying to make coffee at home more, to be honest with you. But I still end up coming to Starbucks, typically when I have a content shoot. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> Tis the season. It's 95 degrees out. I forgot how much I miss pumpkin spice. It's so good, it's so good, and I'm so basic, and I know that, but I don't care. Anyone who doesn't like pumpkin spice, that is your right and it's okay with me, but I love it. Now let's hope the traffic's not that bad so I can make it to my content shoot without having to walk in late with a freaking pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> it's never a good look. I just got back in the house. I just need you guys to hear the classical music. <laughs> it always catches me off guard, but I always play classical music for Troop or whatever I'm gone, just so he has some background music and classical music supposed to be really relaxing for dogs. But every time I come in the house, I'm like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Definitely a big storm coming, so I'm walking Trooper right now before the rain comes. And then I have a lot of work to do, and I know that this rain is gonna make me wanna do nothing. So I gotta power through. I saw something on TikTok that said that you shouldn't pull your dogs whenever they're sniffing. Um, like, let them sniff. Let them, like, Take their time with it because it's like the equivalent of us scrolling on social media <laughs> like it's their chance to explore and like scroll and obviously sniff but like it's that equivalent and i was like you know you're right so i try to let him really sniff and go wherever he wants whatever he wants to explore when we're walking biggest lightning strike just happened and the thunder was so loud. I literally jumped in my chair. I look over Trooper's dead asleep on the couch. I do not know how he doesn't react to this because it scared me so bad. It was so loud. That rain is so peaceful though, just hearing it. It's so nice. I am about to get to work, but here's what I'm having for a little snack. Trying to eat healthier snacks um, and this is always really good. It's just strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and then I just put some honey on top. And it's honestly so yummy if you're craving something sweet and it's healthy. So this is what I've been working on that I low-key kind of waited until the last minute to do, which was stressing me out, but I'm glad because I got it done. Um, it's just like a little PDF guide for one of my clients, which is this travel app. And I just had to design this like getting started guide for them. Um, for the travelers who are using the app and yeah, I don't know why sometimes I put things off and I drive myself crazy But we got it done almost six if you hear that loud noise in the background I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. Um, it's my washer <laughs> um, I'm just doing some laundry and I left the laundry door open. It's kind of loud Just put my dinner in the oven. I have laundry going emptied and loaded the dishwasher I'm finished with work and I want to show you guys my acupressure mat if you're not familiar with what an acupressure mat is, I'm about to show you, it's really, really cool. Here's what it looks like. It's basically this mat that has all these really teeny tiny little spikes. You can see those. And 
they are not as gentle as it might look. Like, you're probably thinking, oh, that's not bad. Like, imagine a bunch of tiny Legos, okay? Because this is what this feels like. Like, you're, like, stepping on a Lego. Like, they're sharp, too. So, at first, I was like, oh, my gosh, what have I done? Like, this is going to hurt. But it actually feels really good. When you first lay down on it, it's kind of borderline painful. But it, like, forces... It oh, hi, Trooper. But it like forces you to relax in a way that you have never known before. Like the only way for it not to be painful is if there's no tension in your body. So as you're laying on it, you naturally like you feel your pressure points and you're able to like relax into it and then it doesn't become as painful anymore. But if you stiffen up or you tense up, like you start to feel it pressing into your skin again. So it's a really, really good way to like unwind. I like doing it after work because it helps me like turn my brain off from work. I feel like it's kind of the best way for me to like meditate with it because meditating is really hard because it's hard to turn your brain off. But when you're laying on an acupressure mat, it is very easy to turn your brain off because you can only focus on one thing and that is staying still and trying not to let these pressure points like dig into your skin. So I'm gonna lay on it and I'll show you guys. So I'm laying on it right now. Also ignore this rug if it's a little bit dirty cause it's all white and Trooper likes to eat his chew toys on here and just makes it look gross sometimes. That's so I need to wash it. But this is what it looks like and it, it feels really good. Like I'm used to it now, but the first time I laid down like I wouldn't be sitting here talking. I'd be like all still. Um, but as you relax into it, like, I don't know, I'm the type of person that, like, I like a little pain. I think I've talked about this before. Like, when I used to go get massages all the time when I worked with Massage Envy, like, I couldn't get a massage therapist that would massage me firm enough, if that makes sense. Because I'm small, and I think they just, like, felt like they needed to be gentle, and I'm like, no. Like, if I don't walk out of there in pain what am I paying for? <laughs> like, I want it to hurt. So I like a little bit of pain. I find it relaxing. And this just feels so good. It sounds like I'm totally trying to sell this to you guys right now. This is not sponsored. I bought this on Amazon and I just really like it. So I wanted to tell you guys about it. My hair is wild right now, but it's almost midnight and I'm gonna get to sleep. I'm so tired. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.